Welcome to Badlands National Park, South Dakota. Here is your guide to things you can do in one single day, from scenic drives, hikes, taking in the otherworldly landscapes, and enjoying some great wildlife. Now, the first thing you want to do after entering the park to do the scenic Badlands Loop. It is a 39-mile road that is accessible for all kinds of vehicles, and that gives you great opportunities to view the wildlife as well as Badlands landscape. From one of the 16 overlooks where you can pull up your car and just admire and take in the views. First stop on the scenic Badlands slope is the Pinnacles Point that gives you a great introduction to the Badlands scenery as well as the surrounding prairie. These mounds are really colorful. I did not know that the Badlands would be so colorful. Really nice. There's so many different colors. There is red, there is white, there is gray, there is pinkish. That was a wind river valley overlook. It really looks like a canyon has been carved out by the wind river down below. So much of diversity within this badlands. Finally time to get out of the car and do a short trail. This is the Saddle Pass Trail and it is only 0.25 mile but for some reason it is still rated as steep and strenuous. Let's find out. I think they were right. The trail is definitely steep and strenuous. It's only 0.25 miles but it takes you to the top over there. This is the hardest quarter mile of my life. It is so steep, it is really rugged, steep. Where the hell have I come? Made it to the top. Well, that was a bit steep. Never judge a book by its cover. Wow, the North Trail was so cool. Walking while surrounded by these badlands was really an otherworldly experience. And the view towards the end with the badlands kind of spread across the prairie and that ladder as well. Such a cool experience. If you have time, definitely do the North Trail. It's not very long, it's under two miles round trip, but make sure you carry some water and have some sturdy footwear. Before heading into the park, it might be a good idea to stop by in the sleepy town of Wall, located just off I-90 and pick up some supplies from the Wall drugstore. But don't be fooled, the Wall drugstore is not like your neighborhood drugstore. Multiple souvenir shops, everything is decorated using a western vibe. It has a cafe that seats 530 people and the food is actually quite good. My favorite was definitely the maple donut and the chocolate shake. And by the way, these people do not skim on advertising. As you driving from Rapid City on I-90, there are literally hundreds of signs about this store. In fact, I think there are more signs about this drugstore than the actual road signs. It was now time to hit the big Badlands Overlook, the final and easily the most scenic viewpoint in my opinion. From here, the views are just endless. Like we have a bison jam over here. The Sage Creek Loop Road offers opportunities to view the Badlands from a distance. The views from here are pretty much endless and panoramic. This is where you can truly appreciate the vastness of this entire landscape. On one side you have the endless prairie and on the other you have the endless Badlands. The views of the Badlands from this overlook are truly endless. 
they are just stretching for miles on the end look how vast this whole scenery is So this is where the Sage Creek Loop Road ends and this is also the end of the video. I believe you need one day to reasonably see almost everything in the park. One full day allows you to do both the scenic loops, stop at most of the viewpoints, do a couple of hikes and also see a lot of landscape and the wildlife as well, especially the bison and the prairie dogs. If you like this kind of content then go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until we meet again in the next national park, it's bye.